Do you want to talk? <laughs> what do you want to say? It feels like it's been such a long time since I filmed something. I don't even know how to start a video now. Well, hello from me and Levi here who's chewing on his toys. It's this egg thing that he has. He loves his toy. Um, anyway, I just wanted to drop in and say I took a break for a couple of weeks unexpectedly and it kind of felt refreshing but it, I also missed filming and you know editing and uploading video recording everything it's it's a 50 50 thing you know I miss it and yet I had a good break but I am back now and it's a first of December as I'm filming this I wanted to do a vlog for the whole month of December I've got a lot of exciting things happening and it's Levi's first Christmas. He's seven and a half months. Yeah, you're seven and a half months now, aren't you? And you're excited for Christmas. Yes, we are very, very excited for Christmas. We had our tree up the whole month of November. Here you go. Is this what you want? And yeah, no regrets. Last year I had it up in October. This year I, I waited up till November. And Levi has been enjoying it. He's not going towards a tree at all, probably because he doesn't crawl yet. He's not super excited about it yet, but still, he loves watching the lights and everything. Um, so yeah, I wanted to vlog this whole month. I've never done anything in this capacity before. I've only vlogged over the weekends. Uh, but this time, I'm going to try and do like a weekly vlog because I have a lot of things planned for Levi and we are going back to Glasgow also. Um, but I'm not just going to sit down and, you know, talk about everything. I will vlog it and probably upload it every Sunday as per usual. So um, I'm starting on the 1st of December. I'll probably do like a weekly thing up till Friday or maybe Saturday or something like that. See when I have a chance to edit it and upload it for, ready for Sunday for you. I am filming from my phone this time. Hopefully, um, it's not too bad. I hope, you know, the clarity and everything is okay. I'm using the front camera at the moment. I will, you know, try and probably swap between camera and phone. Um, but yeah, that's about it. It is almost this one's nap time. So I'm going to play with him for a couple of minutes, put him down. And today is Wednesday. It's house cleaning day. Every Wednesday is always house cleaning day. It used to be over the weekend, but nah, I wanted to rest over the weekend and chill. So yeah, we kind of changed it to Wednesday. So I need to clean and I'll see you again in a bit. Do you want to say bye before you go to sleep? Bye. Say bye bye. Why she smile? I see you smile there. Eh? <laughs> nah, he doesn't want to smile now. <laughs> I just got back from Royal Mail. I had to return a few things. A few meaning I had five huge bags and boxes that I needed to return. And I don't think that lady was a bit too happy because I always come here to return stuff, which means I buy a lot of stuff online. Now that we are so close to Christmas, I'm having to buy a lot of things for Levi, for myself and for Lakshman as well because it's not handy for us to go out shopping. So we end up ordering stuff online. The size is not right, we return it and then we order the right size, especially, you know, with Black Friday and everything. I've done quite a bit of damage, so I had to return a lot of stuff. I had to go um, to the post office twice because I had too many things and I couldn't carry everything. I should have probably put everything in an IKEA bag, but I didn't. I had already loaded stuff in the car, so yeah, I just went there. I really hope that's the last bit of it. No, it isn't. I ordered another pair of shoes and I ordered two sizes because I wasn't sure what was my right size for these kind of shoes. So yeah, I hope that will be the last one that I need to return and I might even send Lakshman to return that and I don't come. Well, <laughs> it's time for me to go back home before Levi wakes up. Lakshman's working from home. so. I've left the monitor with Lakshman. He usually doesn't wake up from his nap halfway anyway, so it's not going to bother Lakshman. What did you say? <laughs> You're looking at the red dot, oh. aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mama? 
Mama. Mama. Can you say mama? Mama. 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 The suitcases are out. We're only going on the 19th of December, but I'm super excited. So I've taken the suitcases out to stuff all our clothes in. Lakshman's on his lunch break, so he is entertaining and playing with Levi. And my mission for the next, what, 10 more minutes? How much time have I got? Yes, for the next 10 minutes is to take all of these clothes and stuff it into these suitcases. This one is mine and that's going to be Lakshman's and all of those clothes that one over there and those two pants um Lakshman's and mine and Levi's is like another day I suppose he's doing again ah, is it nice you love audience don't you Levi oh, <laughs> 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 Pick it up, pick it up, you can do it. That's it. That's it, pick it up. Yeah, well done. Good job, baby. Well done. I just sat down to write some Christmas cards while Levi is napping and I realized that I didn't tell you this funny story from last night. Last night after Levi woke up, I fed him and then Lachman finished work at half four and we rushed to go to Crips Crossway. It's a mall near me. I wanted to get a few cards, I wanted to drop in at Boots and Body Shop to buy a few bits and pieces. So we went to Boots first. It was already pouring when we went in, but we kind of rushed in. It was a short visit, you know. So Lakshan just carried Levi instead of putting him in his car seat and his pram. And we went to Boots first. While I was picking out something in Boots, I turned around to look at Lakshan and Levi. And all of a sudden, I saw Levi actually peeing, okay? It wasn't just dripping, but he was properly peeing and it was leaking through. I don't even know how that happened. His nappy wasn't even full. I don't know if it just got loose or something like that. That must have been the case. So he was peeing and he was smiling at the same time. I wish I took a picture or something then. And it was obviously wetting Lakshman's jumper also. So both of them were soaking in pee, Levi and Lakshman. And I was going to drop everything in boots and leave. But since I had already picked it up, um, we paid for it. And then we wanted to leave. And I was like, I was supposed to get a few cards that I've been waiting to. And also two bits uh, from Body Shop. So Lakshman was like, you know what? We're already wet. We're already soaked. That's fine. Just go ahead and get it. So we ended up buying the cards and the body shop and Levi was like happily smiling, laughing, looking at the light, looking at everything around, not even realizing that he was soaking, but it just didn't bother him at all. But I kept laughing throughout the night thinking about how it was. I got a shock when I saw him peeing and I thought that wasn't possible at all. You know, I didn't know how that happened. And Lakshman didn't even realize it until much later, until they were both they were both properly soaking. But yeah, you live to tell the tale. I had a punami when he was two or three days old, uh, and he pulled on me while I was carrying him after his bath. I was about to put him um, on his changing mat to change him, and he actually pulled on me. And you know, three day old baby's poo is literally a punami. And this was Lakshman's first experience of pee on him. So, Niwa had chicken for lunch today and I'm not quite sure how I am processing it. His actual lunch was beetroot with apple and Lakshan is already having chicken for lunch. It's not like I didn't want to give him. I, I wanted to probably delay it because I don't eat chicken myself. I don't eat meat at all. I'm not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm a pescatarian. I eat prawns and fish. And I prefer vegetarian compared to meat. I don't like any kind of meat just because of the texture and nothing else at all. So I completely avoid uh, chicken or lamb or anything else. Obviously, I don't eat beef or pork. Not anymore. I used to before a little bit here and there, but yeah, not anymore. So I tried to, you know, kind of delete as much as possible. But since Lakshan is already making chicken for himself, we've got the master himself sitting here playing. Levi, can I say hello? Hey, who's that? 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 Who
Jai. Is it you? <laughs> so, Lakshman is already making chicken for himself for lunch today. And I asked him to boil a tiny bit for Levi. Um he was okay with it. I think he was doing quite well with his actual lunch itself, which was beetroot and apple. He took a tiny little bite from the strip. He doesn't really want to feed himself, okay? But he doesn't mind holding it and kind of feeling the texture a little bit. So he took a tiny bit from it. And then I gave him like one tiny piece. So he took like a few very, very small pieces. He took a long time to chew. And then he just didn't want it. I don't know if it's because it's brand new, this is the first time he's trying it or because he just doesn't like it. But whatever it is for babies, any kind of baby food will take about 10 to 20 tries. Is that right? Yeah? Oh, is that how you felt about the chicken? Did you like it? Did you like the chicken? Do you think you'll have it again? What are your thoughts on today's lunch? Yeah, so that's, that's his thoughts about today's lunch. I don't know. I felt I felt really weird trying to feed him that chicken holding it. I've not been holding chicken for a long time. I've not been cooking chicken at home at all for a long time. Like when either buys ready marinade or he marinates it himself and then he cooks it or he just buys, you know, ready chicken from Nando's or something like that. Or you know, when we go back home, he then has home cooked food. But I don't cook meat at home anymore. So when I held that piece of chicken to feed Levi, I felt so awkward. I was also having my lunch while feeding him and I couldn't eat my own lunch because I kept imagining um, raw chicken. I don't want to put off, but this is one of the reasons why I completely stopped eating meat. I kept imagining the raw chicken and the raw meat um, while I was holding it and trying to feed Levi. And then I told Lakshan, I was like, you know what, I feel really weird trying to feed it to him and I, I don't feel comfortable doing it. He can eat chicken, I'm not stopping him from it. It's just that I probably would need Lakshman to feed him rather than me feeding Levi directly because I don't think I can handle it. Again, I washed my hands so many times after feeding Levi today. I normally don't need to do that, but I feel like I can still feel it, you know, I can still smell it. Thank you. Come on. Good morning, happy Friday. Somehow it feels as if it's a Saturday today um, and we all woke up late. We didn't really have a very late night, somehow we just woke up late today. Usually I'd be up by about 6 or half 6 in the morning. Today was like 7.40. Yeah, we all woke up late, didn't we? Levi is having his breakfast. He's super interested in this oh. is it you is it you so we had a little bit of an emergency during breakfast i made him oatmeal today it was his first time having oatmeal he had um surilak and blueberries yesterday oh. today i wanted to try oatmeal but he didn't like it did you it was a bit too sticky so he kept gagging oh. so many times and i thought not worth the hassle at the moment for him to be gagging and, you know, not wanting to eat. I'd rather have him um, with a full belly than unhappy with oatmeal. I'll just try that maybe in a couple of weeks time. So I quickly made him sorry, like, thank God for this. You just have to add water. So it's all fine. Daddy's standing behind so he's curious. <laughs> I read quite a bit about weaning babies, baby like weaning and spoon feeding. And, oh, are you ready? And there you are. You are ready, aren't you? And a lot of it said that, you know, you can't keep offering different food. If you keep doing that, babies are going to be picky and fussy and that sort of a thing. I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to offer him different food. You can see Lakshman in the background playing take a boot, Levi. Um, I didn't want to keep offering different food, thinking that he's going to become picky. But then I realized, if he doesn't like it at all, or if he's not able to eat it at all, what is the point of forcing him or letting him go with an empty tummy? You know, I might as well just give him what he can eat or what he wants to eat. Levi's going to sleep now and I've got about 45 minutes and I need to cook. Lakshman is going to cook lunch today, but I was chatting with a friend of mine 
they have moved somewhere nearby recently. They just moved last week and they're quite busy uh, preparing for their wedding, moving into the new house, sorting out everything for the new house and also cleaning up their old flat. So it's like, it's just a bit tiring for them, you know. When I was texting her this morning, I was like, is there anything that I can do to help? But I figured I wouldn't be able to help her move because I can't physically lift anything or clean anything and I have Levi to take her off. Like, she's busy with work. So the only thing that I can actually do is cook for her, maybe. Because I remember when we moved, it was a struggle. We were both working and we had to clean the old house. We had to sort out the new house. So we couldn't cook at all. We ended up eating out, you know, we had like fast food or meal deals and that sort of thing. It wasn't really healthy stuff at all, you know. So I figured maybe I can offer to cook. Rather than waiting for her to tell me what she wanted, um, I offered to cook for her. I said, would that help if, you know, I can cook and drop some food? It's best to actually offer what you can do because not many people will be willing to ask you to say, could you, you know, give me some food or cook something for me or, um, you know, help me out with something. Which got me onto thinking what we discussed last night. Every Thursday night we have cell group. Every alternate Thursdays we have cell group. Um, and last night we were talking about prayer and we were talking about works that goes along with prayer. You know, many times we offer to pray for people, but we don't really offer the practical help. If everyone is praying, then who is going to do the practical help for them? I suppose this is where practical help comes in play, isn't it? If it's something that you are able to do, then why don't you just offer that instead of saying, oh, I'll pray for you. It would have been easy for me to tell her, oh yeah, I'll pray that you're not so tired. I'll pray that everything works out smoothly. Um, I can cook for you, so why don't I just cook for you? It's probably a very simple thing. It's just many of us don't really think about it. Even me included. I don't know in what sense I was and thank God I had the sense to actually offer and maybe even to ask her. I don't recall doing this very often and probably if I think hard enough, I may even remember certain um, scenarios where I could have offered but I didn't. Maybe because I was busy even now, I had something else to do, but sometimes it's just about taking a little bit of your time helping people out, isn't it? That's, that's really what life is all about, helping people when you can. I'm not a very good cook, I just know how to do basic stuff, that's all. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do a basic mixed rice, it's already in the rice cooker. I've got some broccoli in the fridge, so I'm cooking it for them. I'm going to roast the broccoli and I'm going to make lentil curry and probably some chickpea, that's all. It's just basic stuff and it's things that I already had at home. So it makes things so much more easier. I don't really need to look at recipes and everything. And if I cook enough for a couple of days for them, I'll at least help them get through the weekend or something. All right, lunch is all ready. That's rice with some veggie, lentil curry, chickpea. Oops, and that's Levi. My baby's awake from his nap, so that's our food ready and that's broccoli and my baby is ready for his milk. Are you Levi? Lakshman's put his toy back there and Levi's trying to pull things out from it. It's half 12 now and I just realized that I completely forgot to have breakfast. And no wonder I'm starving now, um, but I'm only going to have lunch along with Levi because it's easier to eat along with him. But yeah, food is sorted out for my friends. We will go and drop it off around about half four, half five, between half four to five in the evening after Lakshman finishes work. Levi's got a new toy. This is actually two to five year old toy. Um, I've been really keen on getting him age-appropriate toys, but Lakshman insisted that we get this earlier because it'll help. He loves all of these buttons and pushing and moving things and stuff. And we thought we need to brush up on our phonics as well. So this one kind of helped all of those things. So we thought, okay, fine, we'll get it. It's got a lot of other skills to it also. So... Yeah, and you've got alphabets there, and then you have numbers. I think these are questions, and this are uh, music. Okay, here, baby, I'm sorry. Here you go. Do you want to press a button? What do you want to do? 
Do you want to press the button? Uh, yeah, it's a bus. Do you want to ride the bus? <laughs> this is a playtime bus with phonics from VTech. These are the things that they have on it. They have got a lot of benefits, I suppose. So the key now is to keep it until he's two to five years old so that he will actually learn something later on also. Levi has gone down for a nap. I've got around about 45 minutes before he wakes up. I am going to sit and plan what we're going to do for the next two weeks. Remember how I said at the beginning of the vlog that we were going to go to Glasgow? Did I even say that? I don't know. But we are going to Glasgow for Christmas this year for about two weeks. Um, so we have about two weeks left here in Bristol and I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of planning and preparation and everything to do. Usually when I feel like I have a lot of things to do, I would always put everything down in my diary. I always use a digital diary, put everything on my phone. However, when there's a lot of things to do, I would like to do it on paper. So I found my paper here. I would normally print out that monthly calendar and fill everything in it, but we haven't got a printer at home. So I can't print anything out at the moment. I'm just going to, you know, kind of draw and make my own calendar. It's only for the month of December, only for two weeks. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. I've got tea and I've got a treat here to keep me company. Lashman bought this last night. The minute Levi saw this, he wanted this. He wanted to play with it. I don't think he even knows that you can eat it, but because it was colorful, he just wanted the whole box and he wanted to play with it. But he's come to a point where he looks at our food and he wants our food a lot. He tries to reach and he tries to grab my food or anything that I'm eating. I already share my food with him all the time. If I'm eating apple, he grabs my apple. If I'm eating uh, persimmon, he loves persimmon also. He likes any kind of food actually. So if I'm eating something, I make sure I share it with him. That's how it goes at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to try and eat only three. I will need to stop with a lot of discipline. Yesterday I had three and I had to force myself to stop. Otherwise, I'm capable of finishing everything at one go. I completely stopped macarons. I completely stopped any sort of desserts for quite some time. I couldn't eat dairy because Levi had reflux. But now that we are weaning him, I want to try and introduce it to him a little bit. And because he's much older now, the health visitor said that I could reintroduce it into my diet because I still breastfeed him. So we'll see if it affects him. And then if it doesn't, then I could introduce it to him. So far, it hasn't affected him at all. The maximum is yogurt, I think full fat yogurt that I've had. I haven't tried like full on cheese lasagna. I've had cheese dosis and stuff, but not lasagna. Maybe I'll try that. And it looks like some of the desserts that I've had so far has not been affecting him, which means I've got the green light to have any kind of dessert I want to now. And especially over Christmas, I can eat anything. I don't have to look for vegan dessert and restrict myself that way, you know. So I am quite excited for that. But for the time being, I'm quickly going to do this. And then I'll show you what my plan is for the next two weeks. In fact, for the next whole month. Planning is done. It looks like we're quite free, actually. Let me show you what I've done. Um, today is obviously the 3rd of December. So that's a Friday. Tomorrow, where's my pen? There we go. We're going to the Upside Down House and we have a lunch date tomorrow. We hardly ever do any dates, but we plan to do that. And the whole week, I'm actually free. We haven't got anything else to do. Monday, I'm going to sit and make a list of all the things that I need to pack for each of us individually, especially for Levi. There will be a lot of things. Because we're going away for two weeks, I have a feeling we are going to have a lot of things and I don't want to forget anything. Next week is that Lakshman has his haircut, we have to go for eyebrow threading and we're planning on having a family Christmas dinner. With the family Christmas dinner, it's always been only Lakshman and me, but this year we have Levi and I want to do something special. I'm not into traditional stuff or anything at all, but I just want to do something for keepsake, you know, and that will be really nice to do for us. Since we are going back to Glasgow, for Christmas with the whole entire family action side and my side as well. I wanted to do something just for the three of us. So I thought we will do like a Christmas dinner for the three of us at home here. Something really simple. Lakshman is going to be cooking, not me. I should probably put that down because he's planned it. So yeah, that's probably what we're going to do and maybe take some pictures at home here. So we have that keepsake. And I'm also thinking of getting something for Levi. I wasn't big on buying any Christmas presents for him. We really didn't want to do it at all. 
because it's not like he's going to remember and the family is going to obviously spoil him rotten and buy a lot of stuff so um yeah we thought we'll get something else later on but i really want to get something for keepsake maybe like a bobble with with a picture of the three of us to say Levi's first Christmas so that you know every year when we do that we can see how much he's grown and it'd be nice to keep that I don't think this is finalized at all I think as and when it changes or when something else comes on I can add on to this calendar now that I'm looking at this because next week looks so free I feel like oh yeah I've got plenty of time you know I haven't done much or i haven't got much to do actually and maybe i will move things about here and there and if something else comes up in the last minute i'll add that on also it's already 9 p.m at the moment um friday night so it is a movie night not every friday but today is going to be a movie night i'm sat here with my macbook because i wanted to edit a video most likely this one and i've got another video that i didn't even edit i completely forgot we took levi out for his first fireworks a couple of weeks ago last month actually and i've still got that footage and i haven't done anything about it then i realized that i haven't actually closed today's vlog so i want to vlog from saturday to friday because it's friday i'm going to end this so that i can edit it have it ready for Sunday and that's what I'm going to do weekly I think hope you have a good month you have an amazing month you have a lot of things planned as well and I will see you again in the next one take care bye